We give God the glory. Just lift up your hands and give praise to God. So, Lord, I thank you for this great opportunity. I thank you because you have removed sickness far from me. Many people have desires of going out to, you know, work for their well-being. They are not lazy, but they have obstruction called sickness that would help them from doing so. But God gave us the ability, hallelujah, we might be saying that the work is hard, but at least we are able to do it. We're able to do it without reserve because God has given us the grace, the power, the opportunity. We give God the glory. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. Oh, we give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. I say we give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. I say we give you all the glory. We give you all honor. Oh, we give you all the glory. We give you all honor, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all honor. Hallelujah. Masse korobo sepa nagadia. Leba Santo Robobo Sako Benegeridas Santo Robobo Koshina Bakatayaba Reba Baba 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 Konso Benegadibas 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Before we get into prayer, I just want to read quickly a scripture. James chapter 1. James chapter 1. James, and I'm going to start from verse 1. It says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. And brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives it to all men liberally and upbraided not. And it shall give him, it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not the man think, he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich in that he is made low because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. But the son it's no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it's withered the grass and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man, rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Let no man say, when he's tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that there is nothing that is, that is strange to God. No condition, no environment, no personality, no spirit, nothing whatsoever, whether they are coming from this planet or coming from other planets or coming from the underground or coming from the sea, from the air, hallelujah, whatever and wherever it's coming from, they are not strange to God. God knows Hallelujah. I want you to begin to expand your thoughts, expand your thinking through the scripture for you to understand that the God we are serving is not just the one that we worship because we have to worship him. Hallelujah. You know, like some of us go to work because we have to go to work. Not because we love to go to work. No, you just have to. The reason is what is attached to work. Hallelujah. You go because you have to pay your bill. You have to eat. 
You have to provide for your family, for the young ones that cannot do anything for themselves yet. So all these things, when you check it, you get ready and go to work. Not because you like it. Now, I don't want you to treat God like that. God is the omnipotent and the omnipotent. God is the reason why we breathe. Hallelujah. Until you come to a position when you are not able to breathe for like two seconds, then you will begin to understand how much oxygen costs. This thing that we breathe. Breathe in and breathe out like it's nothing. In fact, when you are ready, you will be breathing so hard and breathing so slow and even snoring. You take enough air and take it out whenever you want. Hallelujah. It's costly. But this is the this is the God that we serve. That knows the number of hair in your head. That knows exactly the day you began to form, the day that water was dropped. Water. Hallelujah. And have you ever imagined this water began to turn into bones and 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 all kinds of the parts of the body, the eyes, the head, everything, until you become a giant, until you are recorded as a human being. Hallelujah. There are deeper things that God has made. Not only because of what he made, but how he loved you. Hallelujah. So it's not just an obligation to love God, but to understand that you are the seed of God. You come from God. Hallelujah. Now he said, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Because it's training. Diverse temptations. Which come because of our desires, our desires, our wants, what you want, what you desire, brings you to temptation and throw you into diverse. It's not just one straight temptation. Diversity comes from north, south, east, and west with different colors and different models. They come on and try you and throw you to and fro, toss you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But what God is saying this morning is that even though temptation is there, tossing you to and fro, you personally should not be going to and fro. He said, that man that asks anything without wavering, shall receive it. Glory. But he said, ask in faith. Let him that ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and then toss you. When you ask from God and waver, waver, you know, because of time, I will not go deep, but the few things I want to tell you is when you are asking from God, anytime you set to pray, God sent his angels. There are different angels on assignment. On assignment. Angelic forces that moves on the road. Sometimes ask God to open your eyes. You see them on the road. Hallelujah. Protecting the, the order of God. Those who have the light of God. And even the general public sometimes. You see them on the road. 
like policemen, they, they have their uniform, they walk, they move fast. So sometimes you see some things that would have happened, they will protect it. And that's the reason why we pray. Sometimes they are there, but they are powerless. You know why? Because we don't pray. Prayer is like a fuel. It's like the energy. Prayer. Even your personal angel. I'm not talking about angel today. But your personal angel who look exactly like you. Personal angel. Your angel <laughs> looks just like you. The same thing hides everything. But the only thing is that they are spiritual beings. They are powerful. It doesn't, they are not powerful because they are, they, they are 500 feet. No. As, as you are, they are. But they are powerful. But you need to do what? Pray. The prayer is what moves them. It's the fuel that energizes and empowers them to work. Glory to God. There are angels also on assignment. When they come on, you're praying and you're wavering. They, you know, they don't play. They know that this one is not serious. They move fast. They move fast. Sometimes, even in the church, we sat, they will come immediately to, to check everything that is happening there. They take records. Glory to God. One day I was in a church. Hallelujah. I was in a church. Powerful church. In fact, I was there and they walked in. They drive, they, they landed. And I said to somebody that was close to me, I said, I said, did you see the angelic forces that just came down? I said, I've never seen this kind of car in my life. It, 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 it's like a, it's like a, a water, it's like a glass. I, I can't even describe it. As soon as they land, the other one came down fast, opened the door for the other one, the person, the, the other one came out, and they walked straight to the altar. They walked straight, and there was deliverance. I mean, people, you know, people that are, you know, mentally challenged, like mad people and all that, they come to that church, and God heals them. But one of them around there starts screaming. Immediately, I was watching. The entire day, one of them starts screaming, screaming and saying, this fire will not burn. Of course, the demons were, were we're screaming in him. And the pastor who is in the altar, tell everybody to stand up because we have a visitor. We have, we, have, we have those who have come to check the church. They always come. Why am I taking time to explain this? When you're praying, pray with all your mind. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. But pray. Don't waver. Pray. Hallelujah. And how to energize your spirit is through fasting, prayer, studying the scripture under the presence of God. When you're studying, stop thinking about your bills and, and how your car is going to be where and how all these things is destruction. Focus on God so that your spirit man will be energized so that when you're praying, you're praying with knowledge and praying under his presence. Don't just pray anyhow. Sometimes prayer is going on and your TV is on and everybody's calling you and, you know, you turn on the, the prayer morning, just turn it on and just do whatever you like. No, focus. It's very important. Something that you will not get in a thousand years can happen in a second. Why? Because you focus. You are in the presence of God. Hallelujah. I said these two things to tell you that they are real. It's not a joke. Hallelujah. You may think, why is People flying with all kind of knowledge on the internet, on everywhere. 
just to distract you, to make you move away from your faith. Faith is very important. Hallelujah. So that you are not moving with double-mindedness. It's not a jackpot. Sorry, it's not a gambling. God is not gambling. God is not, let me try. Maybe it will work for me or maybe it will not. It will not. No. Remove that attitude. God will help you. When you seek him with all your heart, when you have no second plan, don't go with God with second plan. Hallelujah. There is no second plan in God. Like if God didn't work, then I will, you know, try and do some other things. No. Even if you destroy me, hallelujah, so will I trust you. You got to behave like Job. Meaning no matter what, I have no other God. I have no other person. I have nothing else but you. I trust no one but you. I move in you. I breathe in you. I walk in you. You got to come with that attitude. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. We give you all that glory. We give you all no. We give you all that glory. We give you all no. We're going to pray that every double-mindedness will be removed from our house, removed from our temple, removed from our family, that we may worship God with one mind. Worship God without wavering. Open your mouth. Say, Lord, remove every double-mindedness. Remove every unstable mind, unstable ways. In the name of Jesus Christ, Haporabos, Yanto Malita Baritaba, Zigrebegelebos, Mantro Kobo Santayaba, Eva Tulaba, Likrabos, Anateke Nuyadu, Zelegelebos, Bashima Lukaya, Om Premene, Zadas, Makebos, Kambe lutaimamos, rande inkobo sakiyabo. Yes, Lord, every double-mindedness, every wavery spirit, remove it from us. In the name of Jesus, iba natanda yi, zigla banapa, oh, zantema harabos. Yes, Lord. Glory. Yes, Lord. I dissolve it this morning. No every. No. I reject it. I refuse it. It can never be a portion anymore. Gabansa notes. Yalabobe tondevas. Yes, Lord. We give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject every instability, unstable mindset. We reject it this morning. Hallelujah. No more instability in our children, in our family. We refuse, we reject it. We refuse, we reject it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just wave your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Somebody with swollen leg. Swollen. Hallelujah. God is touching you now. God is healing you. Swollen leg. Re Receive your healing now. Somebody that is having 
dizziness. As soon as you get up, you feel so dizzy. The Lord is healing you. The Lord is healing you. Just receive that healing right now. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hand on your head. If you feel any sickness, any pain, as I'm praying right now, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the healing power of God we touch as many that are sick right now. Heal them and set them free. Heal them and set them free. Heal them and set them free. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Father, let your protection be upon everyone under the sound of my voice. Everyone that is going to listen later. And all those under the spiritual zone and beyond. Let your power touch them. Father, protect and heal them completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your family. I cover your car. I cover your house. No accidents. No fire incidents. Cover you. No gun man, no gun women will attack you or attack any member of your family. You are protected in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you.